has had a beautiful day. We saw nothing but blue skies and sunshine. Reached our highs today here in Fort Wayne at 54 degrees, so we were above average temperatures at the moment. We are still pretty warm and mild around the low to mid 50s all across the board for us. And so looking at our storm track radar, again, nothing too much to discuss. I mean, pretty much we're seeing that very dry air, but as we zoom on out, we see some cloud cover for our southern parts of the state. But as we continue to zoom out, we're pretty quiet for us. That's all thanks to a high pressure system just off towards the east over Ohio. But looking off towards our west, especially over into the uh, north panhandle of Texas, I mean, they're seeing some very stormy weather. See these uh, red polygons that indicates tornado warnings and also severe thunderstorm warnings uh, into Texas. So this will be our next uh, potential to bring some rain back into our region. So let me just talk about what's on our weather headlines for the couple days ahead. So we're expecting a dry weekend. Temperatures will be cooling down, unfortunately, and that same storm system could bring some rain snow mix possible into Monday. So let me talk about what the precipitation chances are for the next five days. So again, we're going to be dry tomorrow, but as we get through Monday, we'll have a storm system that will move through mainly into the afternoon, evening hours. That's going to bring a little bit of rain snow mix, transitioning more into rain into Monday night into early Tuesday morning. And then we can see rain chances coming back again into Wednesday night into Thursday morning as well. Let me show you what's going on. So here's that storm system off towards our west, but there's a sign of weakening. I see this purple line. That's an occluded front. So usually we start to see this happen. This means this storm system is beginning to weaken. And as we get into Sunday night, you start to see this occlusion front start to grow and kind of overtake the warm and cold front. So the storm system pretty much loses its power. So it's going to bring a broken line of showers into Monday and Tuesday, but it will bring some wintry mix. And so let me show you the future track for the rest of our weekend and Monday look like as we get through tonight. We'll see a few passing clouds down towards our south, but overall I'll probably say partly cloudy skies will move through as we get through Thursday. Again, we'll see some peaks of sunshine and clouds will increase as we get towards into the evening hours around 10 o'clock Sunday night. It'll be dry, mostly cloudy skies. And as we get through Monday, expect to see cloudy conditions and then we start to see more active weather as that storm system begins to move through. You start to see some snow showers, even uh, rain snow mix into Wabash, Huntington, Warsaw. And that will continue to make its way towards the east. We see a nice little rain snow line. So the areas that could see some snow into Monday night will probably be our northern counties. But again, I'm really not expecting any travel conditions because this rain will pretty much overtake uh, the snow as we get through early Tuesday morning. So overall, nothing too much to worry about there as we get towards tonight. Expect to see those quiet conditions. Overnight lows will drop down to the low 30s. And then tomorrow, temperatures pretty seasonal. Low 50s clouds will be increasing as we get towards in the afternoon hours and then looking for the next couple of days ahead we will be a little cooler into Monday and as we get towards about midweek. We could see that rain chances coming back in the forecast, maybe upper 50s and then we'll start to dry out for next weekend. Yeah, Monday isn't too horrible. It's not going to be super cold. No, it's kind of like Mother Nature's, you know, last winter. Yes, bring some flirt snow flurries because you know spring starts next Saturday. That's perfect. All right, Matthew, thank you. Coming up next in sports, high school basketball regionals take place on Saturday. We'll have all those highlights from the games up next.